Hello Year 9 and to all parents and carers. Welcome to the OCR Cambridge National Sports Science. The need for people to lead healthy and active rather than sedentary lifestyles is incre increasingly prominent in respect of government initiatives. This is reflected in our school curriculum where PE is a core subject. This qualification seeks to build upon this provision. The OCR in Sports Science offers the learner the opportunity to develop different types of skills through practical and theoretical means. This may include communication, problem solving skills, teamwork, evaluation, analysis, performing under pressure, formulating written findings from practical investigations. This qualification can be utilised in not only a sporting environment, but many other educational and employment settings. So throughout the video, I'll be answering the following questions. Why choose it? What is it all about? How will I be assessed? Where can this course lead me in terms of the future and in careers? And what do others think about this course relating to teachers, professionals and other pupils? Year 9, have you ever wondered why your body is sore the next day after exercise? Why eating bananas give you energy? And why so many professional footballers miss penalties? Or have you ever wondered how you could become an elite athlete? how the media influences what sports you enjoy and what happens in the brain when you are concussed. Well, then sports science is the one for you. Here are some other examples of why you should choose sports science. You'll have an opportunity to study key scientific areas such as anatomy and physiology, which is all to do with the body and its body parts, such as the muscles and the bones. Psychology, which is the study of the mind and its behavior and nutrition, such as learning about a healthy and balanced diet. You will also develop different types of skills that you may not learn in other subject areas. Again, such as communication skills, teamwork skills, problem solving, and completing practical investigations, actually complete, competing and participating in sport. It's great progression to future careers, such as A-level and university degrees, and careers such as sports scientists or physiotherapists and much, much more. And you also have the chance to develop your ICT skills, work on your computer. A lot of this will be, done, uh, will be completed using written assignments and you'll also be using technology in sport. So what is sports science? What, what is it all about and what will you be learning? The Cambridge Nationals in Sports Science offers learners the opportunity to study key areas of sports science, including again, anatomy, anatomy and physiology, linked to fitness, health, injury and performance, the science of training and application of tra training principles and psychology in sport and sports performance. So you will be learning all of that within sports science. You will have mandatory units. So that is all about um, choosing these units you have to complete. And one unit you have to complete is reducing the risk of sports injuries. And you'll be following these uh, specific learning outcomes. So you will, at the end, be able to understand different factors influencing the risk of injury. Know how appropriate warm up and cool downs take place and know how to respond to common medical conditions. The next unit that you have to complete is applying the principles of training. Knowing um, the principles of training in a sporting context, and also being able to conduct fitness tests and develop fitness training programs. So these two units you have to complete. You do, however, have optional units and you have to choose two from these. And as a cohort, we will choose out of the four. So you will choose two from these, one of them, is the body's response to physical activity. And you will learn about the key components of the musculoskeletal and cardiorespiratory systems, and also the short term and long term effects of exercise on these systems, which we've been learning about in lessons already. We may do sports nutrition, and you may know about the, the nutrients needed for a healthy, balanced lifestyle and the effects of poor diet and sports performance. Or Technology in sport, so choosing about how technology is used in sport, understanding the positive and negative effects of sports technology, 
and being able to evaluate the impact of technology in sport. Or the other one that we can choose is sports psychology. And these are the outcomes here. Understanding the relationship between personality and sports performance. Know how motivation and aggression can affect sports performance. And understanding the impact of arousal and anxiety on sports performance. So the mandatory units are the ones that you have to complete. The optional units, you choose two out of the four. So how will you be assessed in this? Well, within the mandatory units, for the reducing the risk of sports injuries, it will be a written exam paper, an hour long and worth 25%. Applying principles to training, this is coursework based and again worth 25%. And then out of the optional uh, choices, you have to choose two out of these. And then again, they are all coursework based, worth 25%, and everything is out of 60 marks. So only 25% of this qualification is um, assessed by an exam. 75% of it is assessed via coursework. Where can the course lead me? I think this is possibly the most important thing for the future for you. What sort of jobs do you want to do? Here are some examples. You could become a sports scientist, a physiotherapist, a PE teacher like me, a, a professional sports person, a sports coach, a personal trainer, a nutritionist, a leisure manager or someone that works in a leisure centre, working for the public services such as the army or the police force, working in events management, working in some of the biggest stadiums around the world, as a sports journalist or a sports commentator or a sports photographer or a sports marketer. There are so many jobs that you can complete if you choose to follow this qualification. And also, if you choose this qualification, you will learn so many different skills which are transferable, such as the communication skills, the teamwork skills. It doesn't have to be, if you choose this qualification, you have to go into a job in sport. But this qualification does allow you to transfer so many different skills to different job areas. And the last question, what do other professionals, teachers and pupils think about this course? Have a listen to this. It's so relevant for the, the job opportunities and their further study that they're wanting to go into. We liked the units that were involved in it. Uh, we thought it would best suit our learners, which has proven to be the case. So we decided to switch um, and it's worked out well for us. A lot of our students who aren't as practical get still to access a qualification in PE. The students were hands-on, uh, putting bandages on each other and fake wounds and stuff and that kind of practical uh, vocational side of things that the students really enjoyed. They're clearly enjoying the qualification and all our indications are that they're going to make really good progress. The sports psychology unit has been really interesting, particularly the last task that we did on mental health is so relevant right now and the students have really engaged with that. I enjoy the topic that we're doing now which is psychological factors, so like what happens in the brain when you're playing a sport. The admin required for Cambridge Nationals is very, very simple and it's very easy to understand. I think compared to the other qualifications I've done, it's, it's amazing because the, the, the paperwork is reduced massively. I really enjoy delivering the course. The support that we get from the exam board has been exceptional. I think they've got it spot on with the model assignments. It's brilliant. The kids love it, they're successful at it, and that's very important in this world of Progress 8. I'm looking especially to, for a scholarship to Australia first option, if not a USA. I definitely recommend the course because it obviously it helps you go down a lot of different routes. They're leaving with a good qualification, going to university, and, um, and they've got really good opportunities ahead of them. So that's what I like to see.
So hopefully this video has been inspiring and useful for you. Have a real think about what you want to do to choose, um, what you want to do in your future lives. This course will really help with a lot of different things and it's not just sport. Like I said before, the skills are transferable to other subject areas. So have a think, but I believe choose OCR, Cambridge National and Sports Science. I'll speak to you all soon and I look forward to seeing you. Bye.